Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Tuesday, October 6th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through a small example of using Object Studio to communicate with a network-based protocol. And for our example, we're going to use Growl. Growl is a little application that you can run on Windows or Mac. And on either platform, you can communicate with it either using something like AppleScript or Com, or there's a network protocol, basic socket kind of thing, where you send messages to it terminated by CRLF in a specific way. So that was a pretty simple thing to implement, and I thought I'd show you how to do that. So let's move that out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the public store repository to load using this connection. So let's go to published items now. And we'll start typing growl, and we'll get that. We'll get the latest version that I published just this morning. We'll load that. Now with that in, let's move this out of the way, and we'll open up a system browser and take a look at what we've got. If we go down here to growl, we find that we've got an abstract class called growl interface. And we have an API defined where we can send messages to it and we can register with it. There's a bunch of other things in the protocol I haven't bothered to implement, but these are the basics. Now, if you go down to the interface on Mac, it uses AppleScript. If you go down to the interface over here on Windows, which is just the abstract, not the abstract, the concrete network interface, it's the one for any platform other than Mac, then you find the API is actually ironed out. So you go here to notification, it's going to send this more complicated message which if you come down here to this, you'll find just as a matter of getting a stream, putting text on it. So here we put this followed by CRLF, this followed by CRLF. Now it turns out the reason I do that is if I go down to comms, you get to this point where I send the message, I get a socket accessor, I make a stream on it, then I set the line into transparent, and I send my message, flushing it and shutting down the socket communication. This is probably not necessary. I was doing this when I was debugging it. I could just send CRs to it and set the line end to CRLF. The reason I didn't do that is I wanted this to be very, very obvious. So when we look at the actual implementation here, you see I'm putting CRLF message, CRLF message. I wanted that to be very clear as to how the protocol worked compared to what was documented here. So that's why I did it this way. Might be more sensible to make the line end CRLF and then just put CRs on it, but I thought this was more obvious. Now, with that out of the way, let's push this aside, and we'll open up a workspace. So we'll go here to Tools, Workspace. Now, since we're in Object Studio, when I put this into a namespace, I need to specify the namespace. So let's do Growl Interface New Notification Hi from OST 8.2. And let's do a small talk. Execute. And you see there it is. Now I've got a bunch of things in here where it is just defaulting. And the reason it's defaulting is that if you go up here and look, you'll find that in the abstract superclass, I've got an application name to Syncom Smalltalk, notification name to Syncom Smalltalk Post. And that's why you see a bunch of stuff here. So if I again do this Smalltalk execute, you'll see a bunch of this stuff as boilerplate. That can all be specified. I've got the API fleshed out to the point where you can send messages where you customize that. But for our purposes, it's enough to show that it works. So you can dig into this and you can then bring up this Growl for Windows and you can see how this GNTP protocol is spec'd out. It turns out that if you really want things like encryption, it supports AES, you can specify all that. I haven't done any of that. I've just got it using no encryption and sending messages. If you want to flesh that out, feel free. It's in the public store repository. And you can add to this to your heart's content. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with small talk.